Hey guys, my name is Bernard Cisneros. Welcome back to the Movie Geek channel. I'm here to do a very different type of video. I did this in previous years. Um, I haven't, I, I don't think I haven't done it last year. I'll be showing you my Christmas Blu-ray and DVD collection up to date the year 2018. Before, 2000, before 2018 will be gone. And this is not all of it. I'm more on the other side. Um, so yeah, um. It's about time I can finally show you my, my collection of my Christmas movies and some special, some shorts. Um, because December is one of my favorite time of the year, it's one of my favorite time of months, and Christmas is my favorite holiday. It's just a wonderful time to spend your family, your friends, and just to be chill and enjoy watching Christmas movies. And it will make me peace and happy at the same time. And I just love Christmas movies, and yeah, it's just an amazing time of the year. And finally, in the mood of watching Christmas movies, because December and November is like a perfect time to watch Christmas movies, of course. I'll be showing you each by one, maybe talk about my, my brief thoughts, and we go by one. And I hope this will be a shorter video, because I'm leaving to my hometown. Right now, as of recording, I'm on my apartment, currently studying my finals, my last final of that is tomorrow in during the time recording. Um when this video is out I'm gonna be in my hometown. I'll be but by, by the time you guys are watching I'm gonna be in my hometown, you know, enjoying my life, enjoying my friends and family on, on my Christmas break. Anyways, let's get right into it. The first one you see is a Disney section. You can see a little bit of Disney and then different studio, different So the first stop we're doing is the little a little bit of Disney Christmas movies, and then the first half of the section is full is animated. Then then we go to live action, cause I prefer animated over live action in my opinion. But there's some good stuff from live action you can see right here going on. Some classics and some guilty pleasures. Anyways, the first one is the amazing the Santa Claus box set that include all three Santa Claus movies, include the Santa Claus, the San Santa Claus Two, and Santa Claus Three the Escape Clause. Um, I'm a huge fan of the first one. I really like the second one. It's decent. The third one is just garbage. It's not great. It's not. It's a. It's a cast. Cast crap. But I will say the best part of the third movie is Tim Allen as Santa Claus. I mean, he brings the world and the characters to life, and it's just a great first two movies. And the third one is just it's unnecessary to be honest. But it's a really nice box set. You can you can get. Three individual cases, you can get them individually if you want, but I prefer the boxer because it looks nice. And it looks nice on the shelf, loaded with extras. I got this. Um, this is part of my, one of my wish lists, my most, my must get. Um, I could not find it everywhere in, blue, um, on, in any stores. And then one day, I found this in Best Buy last year, and I just had to get it because at that time. And I, I grew up with the first two movies, and the third one, I did grow up with it. Sally, but I did watch the third one on theaters. I, I remember that vividly with my mom. Um, I mean, the only thing you, can, you, you you could watch from this trilogy is the first two movies. That's all I can say. And then we got a cult classic, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, I consider this a Christmas movie because it takes place in the month of December. Not Halloween. Halloween was over. In the beginning of the movie, said the Halloween day is over. October thirty first is gone. It's over. That's why we go forward to December, and that's yes. I cons I consider this a Christmas movie, not a Halloween movie. Christmas movie, in my opinion, because there's a lot of people saying it's either a Christmas movie or, or a Halloween movie. Your pick, your opinion, whatever. This is great. I got prep, prep and landing, and prep and landing. Naughty versus nice. This is a very awesome short. Um, just a fun, fun, fun short. Love it. Um, I got it really cheap on Black Friday, and yeah, I'm really happy I got this. And then we got Mickey's Christmas Carol. One of the first Christmas Carol. There's a couple of them in this collection, and the transfer in this. I heard a lot of people complained about the transfer in this move. Um, this short, this special, whatever you want to call them, but. I heard people are saying it's terrible, and I kind of agree with that. They turned into this special into widescreen, which the original format is full screen, and I don't know why they did that. But this is a really, really good special, and I, I love the animation. This is it's a great special, and just 
I love it. I love it. Yeah, this is a really great special. I mean, love it. This is a great time of the year for watching this. That's all the Disney Christmas stuff going on. There's not. There's a couple of ones I want to want to get, but I'm gonna hold up to it. Now we go to DVDs. Now we go into the specials. The the Rack and Bass. The you know the Rack and Bass special. Some other specials. The first one. It's Mr. Magoo Christmas Kill. You, you can see the deal here. We are, we got the second of the Christmas Kill. Um, there's so many versions of Christmas Kill. I cannot choose which is my favorite. But this is great. I love the animation and the way the story the story told in a Christmas Kill is just really different from other Christmas Kill that I've seen. And yeah, this is great. Um, highly recommend watching um getting this on DVDs. It's just a lot of fun. I love it. We have a miser a miser brother Christmas. Decent. It's just okay. I enjoyed it. It's not the best of the Wreck and Bass special, even though in, even though this is not produced or directed by Wreck and Bass. Obviously, this came out much later when Wreck and Bass is. This is obviously this special obviously came out much later, around the early two thousands. Um, but all in all, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It's not great. It's not as as great as the other Wreck and Bass specials. Um, what this is inspired of. Um, I love the character designs of the Miser Brothers and, and the, Snow, the Miser Brothers and it's just it's a good concept, good story, but it's just eh. I enjoyed it, it's okay. Now we go to the Rack and Bash stuff. We have Jack Frost. This is great. Love it, love it, love it. Lots of fun, lots of fun. And we got the two versions, the two different um, editions of the original Christmas collection. We got the classic media Blu-ray, which is bare bones, not a lot of extras, and we got the re-release by Universal Studios, and has a little bit of extras that is not including this set. Um, this set includes it includes Wood of the West, No Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, and Santa Claus is Come to Town. And in this set, it also includes the little drama, the little drummer boy, and Cricket of the Hearth, which which in this set does not include. The last two of the Rack and Bass Blu-ray collection is Twas the Night Before Christmas. This is great. Love the slip cover. Um, great. This is wonderful animation, wonderful story, and I love it. I love it. We have one of my favorites, like my number one favorite Rack and Bass on um, specials. That is the Ear Without a Santa Claus. In this Blu-ray set, this also includes Nesta, the long Year Christmas donkey, and um, Rudolph, Shiny New Year. Um, it also includes two more sh um, specials, which is very nice. A really good um, Blu-ray set. Get this. It's really cheap, I believe you can get this. Um, great stuff. Love the Miser Brothers in this. The songs are classic. Love it, love it, love it. And it looks amazing in Blu-ray. I mean, all the Rack and Bass shorts released by on um, Blu-ray looks Great, love it. Since the remake came out this past, I mean, it came out in November. Um, I have not yet watched, but I rather just watch the original Chuck Jones version of Doctor Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This is an amazing Blu-ray transfer. Looks beautiful in Blu-ray. Looks brand new. Love it. I love the animation style in this. This is, of course, a classic. Enough said. And we go to the Peanuts. Um, holiday collection. Um, the three, three, the three classics include include a Charlie Brown Christmas. It's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown and Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Obviously, we're gonna talk about the Christmas special. The, a Charlie Brown Christmas is is a classic, a much watch. If you have not seen that class or that special, watch it. I think you can get it on Blu-ray really cheap. Um, watch it. It's it's, it's an incredible short. Um, special, whatever you want to call it, a Charlie Brown Christmas is a much, a must watch Christmas movie or special, like a must watch. And I added the Penis movie, just why not? Because, because it has, it is, you know, why not? And we got the Polar Express. I finally, finally rewatched this movie this past week, and I like this movie. But the CGI is kind of a little bit dated by the time. I remember vividly watched this movie in theaters. Um, I believe this movie came. I remember. I remember this. I remember this movie came out the same day as SpongeBob 
the movie, the first SpongeBob movie. It came out the same day as the Polar Express. And obviously I went to see SpongeBob first and then later day we saw Polar Express. I believe it was during the Thanksgiving break that we saw this movie. And as as a kid, love it. And when I got this movie, it was been a while that I seen this movie. But it's really good. I, I actually like it. But the CGI is a little dated. These two are amazing. Um, I got the both versions of the Miracle on 34th Street, the the 40s and the 90s. Um, both great. If I have to choose, I'll go with the the remake because it is so good. Um, Richard Attenborough as Santa Claus in this movie is just wonderful. Um, when I see him smile, a big smile on his, smile on his face, it brings me a lot of joy in my happiness in my heart and just seeing him smile just make me happy a lot the, don't get me wrong the, the, the black and white clap, um, version is fantastic but I prefer the John Hughes production of the American 34th Street I think it's wonderful it's great the acting is incredible especially Richard Richard Annabelle is just an amazing amazing performance um, one of his best Jurassic Park in this is his highlights of the, of of his career, and just look at that smile. Look at that f smile. I mean, you cannot go wrong. I mean, yeah, wonderful. Of course, you have to own the first two Home Alone movies. Enough said. The classics. It's a must watch. It's a must watch. We have the third version of A Christmas Carol. This is 1984, George C. Scott version of A Christmas Carol. And I did watch it for the first time. I loved it. It's great. The performance by George C. Scott as Scrooge is wonderful and just great. And I love it. It's really great. I mean, it was my first time watch, but it's, it's great. Here is my guilty pleasure. Jingle all the way. I don't care. I love this movie. It's, it's a, a must watch for me. I gotta be watch this movie every de every December, just like the first two Home Alone movies. This is another movie I gotta rewatch every December, no matter what. This is great. I know there's some cheesy corny stuff, but I love it. Put that cookie down. Put that cookies down. Love it. Just love it. And Tober Man, oh boy. I feel bad for all the dads around the world trying to get a, a toy or a present for their children. Just. When, when I show this to my dad, he can relate so much, and I cannot wait. I can feel relate to this, um, sto this story of this character. And we got another Christmas cult classic that is Elf. Love it. Hilarious. Will Ferrell is great as Buddy. I mean, John Favreau directed it. Great, great stuff. And this is like a... Uh, this is a very... I don't know what the word is to say this movie this is kind of overrated, but I still like this movie. Really do love this movie, and that is a Christmas story. I remember watching this for the first time at my great-grandparents' house, and they had a VHS or a DVD, I forgot, but we watched it during the, the month of de December, I remember that. And I remember fell in love with this character, this kid, even though he's kind of weird in the movie, but I can so relate because... There are moments in December that I really want to get. That's my wish list, my number one wish list for Christmas that I asked for Santa. And I can, I can so relate to him. I mean, really, as a kid. Right now, as, a, as an adult and a teen, um, late teenage years. And nine more because I only ask, I don't know. Anyways, the last batch, I got a Christmas vacation, of course. A much watch, classic, hilarious. Chevy Chase in this movie is wonderful. Um, great stuff, hilarious stuff. I mean, go like a adult stuff. We have like Christmas Carol's kind of adult movie. Christmas Vacation is a very much adult movie, and we got a much much mature Christmas movie. We have It's a Wonderful Life, which is a masterpiece. I saw this movie for the first time last year, and it blew my mind. I loved it. It's James Stewart, so good. So good. I'm glad I got this in Blu-ray and watch it for the first time. I love it. It was a blind buy. And I love that movie. It's fantastic. If you have not seen it. If, if you have not seen this movie, watch it. It's fantastic. I love it. It's it's great. And we got the fourth duration of the Christmas Carol. We got Scrooge. 
Last year, I, when I saw this for the first time, I like it. I didn't love it, but Bill Murray is great in this role, but I didn't love it. I mean, I like it, but this year, this year, this month of December, I did not rewatch this movie. Um, I just don't feel like rewatching it. And we got some Christmas horror films. I only got two. I really want to get Black Christmas, and I really want to get Silent Night, Deadly Night. That's what it's called. Um, I believe both of them was released by Screen Factory, and I really do want to get them. Um, just for why not? Just to, to diverse a little bit more on my Christmas collection. First off, I love this movie. That is Gremlins. I watch this every December. I don't care. It is a Christmas movie because it takes place in the in December twenty fifth on or Christmas Eve, but it takes place that that day. And Gizmo is adorable. Like he is adorable. I want to name it one day. If I have a Gorgi, one day if I ever have a dog, I'm going to name a dog Gizmo because it's freaking adorable. Lastly, but not least, Krampus. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, who directed it? Michael Doherty? Um, yes, Michael Doherty, who is directing Godzilla Kings of Monsters is coming out next May. Um, 2019. And... I freaking love this movie. I rewatched it. Um, I haven't I haven't rewatched it to, as of right now, but I am planning to rewatch it before Christmas, before December twenty fifth come to a close. And I love I love the practical effects on this movie. I love the the atmospheric on this movie. Lots of fun. And yeah, I mean you can get this cheap right now, but this is great stuff. This is great stuff. Okay, that is my Christmas DVD and Blu Ray collection. Of that's an 18 thus far. I have a couple of new ones for this month. I got like three more Disney classic, um, you know, the Christmas stuff. I got a DVD. I got, a, you know, I got brand new stuff that I added to my collection, and this is great stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this video. A very different video. Um, yeah. Have a great day, and I, and I hope you have a, I hope you have a very merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And goodbye.